Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. Um, I don't really have a lot to say other than I'm going to try to stay committed with filming this longer content. I'll be honest, TikTok has kind of spoiled me with me doing fragrance reviews there, but I really want a platform where I can offer you guys more in-depth reviews about the fragrances. So I'm here with a new series for YouTube called Five Minute Fragrance Reviews. And what I try to do is look for gems or, you know, not necessarily designer scents, but scents that deserve a second look. And I go into depth about those um, fragrances. So with that being said, today I am reviewing Lolita Limpica. And somewhere on the screen, I'm going to post like the close up of the bottle packaging and all that. But what I'm gonna cover in this review is the notes of the fragrance, the price, the quality, and what I purchased again. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so let's talk about the notes of the fragrance. Now I'm not gonna read all of the notes to you, but I will list them over here and really tell you what stands out to me. So I will tell you this, it is a sweet fragrance, but it's fruity and floral. Um, the sweetness is not overbearing. You definitely get the vanilla and the tonka bean. And you get the cherry. I can definitely get the musk. Oh, so good, y'all. Mm. And the crazy thing is, in the dry down, it gets even fruitier and sweeter. It's such a beautiful fragrance. It reminds me of like sunshine, like a good mood. When I put this on, it makes me feel like I should be doing something like being productive, going out to run errands, go grocery shopping, clean the house. It's beautiful, 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 beautiful fragrance. It reminds me of something that a beautiful woman would wear. It's not... It's not like sexy. It doesn't give me sexy. It gives me beautiful. It gives me happy. It gives me like energetic, productive. So I agree with the the um, notes of the fragrance. I think they're pretty much spot on. I'm sorry I keep looking down, y'all. I got the notes listed here. Trying this format out to see, you know, if this works for me because Lord knows I can't remember nothing off the top of my head. So it's going to go right here on this iPad. But yeah, back into the notes here. I think it is spot on. Um, on me, I'm not getting much of the licorice. A little bit of the violet. But it is sweet, y'all. It is sweet. It's fruity and floral. It's almost gourmand. I think th that little hint of powder I'm getting, st it stops it from being so gourmand. But it's a beautiful fragrance. If you look at the notes of this and you're used to purchasing fragrances with, this note, with these notes, I think you're safe to get this fragrance. So now let's talk about the price. I paid 50 bucks for this off of Amazon. Now I have seen it range from 30 to 50 bucks, depending on where you're shopping. I've also seen two versions of this fragrance. So again, I'm gonna put the bottle of this one that I have on the screen because from what I researched, this came out in the 90s and the fragrance was different from what it is now. When they relaunched it in 2020, the fragrance changed according to some of the reviews that I read. So I've never smelled the original fragrance, but this one smells beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. I can only imagine what the original smell like. So let's talk about the quality. And when I say quality, I mean like what you're really paying for versus what you're getting and how long can I wear it? How does it perform? So again, I paid 50 bucks for this and this is 3.4, yeah, 3.4 ounces. Def definitely worth it for the amount of product that you're getting. Um, it lasts about six hours on my skin. Now, when I spray this on my clothes, I can still smell it the next day. Um, like if I spray it on this shirt and I put the shirt in the laundry, I can still smell it on my shirt. So I think that the performance is really great. Now, with that being said, it's not an overpowering scent. 
it definitely projects, but it's not, um, it's not beast mode. It's safe to wear to work. It's safe to wear when you're just out and about in big crowds because it smells so beautiful and sweet, but it is soft. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful scent again. So now let's talk about if I would buy it again. Yes, I would. I think for me, this could be a daytime signature scent because it's just so beautiful. It's soft, it's sweet, it's fruity. It's everything I like in a perfume. I was pleasantly surprised by this blind buy. I do a lot of blind buying. I have a lot of fails, but this one I'm really happy about. So yeah, that is my five minute fragrance review for Lolita Limpica. I'm going to leave the link down below for my Amazon store. If you want to purchase this fragrance on Amazon, again, you can go to Google, search for it to see if you can get it for a better price. But I already had a cart set up on Amazon, so I just added it to my cart. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll leave my TikTok down below if you want to take a look at some of the other fragrances I have reviewed there. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.